Hello everybody, my name is Gary Kijuba and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we ranked up our confidant with Mishima and made a lot of progress in exploring as much mementos as we possibly could have, as well as come to have a better understanding as to what the mechanics of mementos are. This time, we just got back from mementos, so there's not a whole lot we can do here tonight. I'm gonna check on a couple things, and then more like than not, we're going to study again, because I want to be prepared for that test in a couple days. All right, we're good. The plant is fine. So why don't we just go ahead and study at the table for now, and uh, we'll pick things up tomorrow morning. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. Can I talk? The other day, I saw on TV. Oh, didn't mean to distract you. But I'll try to stay quiet. You're making some good progress. I can see the wisdom in your eyes behind those glasses. <laughs> Man, still oblivious. Well, then. You'll tire yourself out if you keep at it for too long. You should stop for today and get some sleep. Looks like you're attending school seriously. You also seem pretty close with Takamaki-san if you're both coming to school together. We all go to the same school. What is so suspicious about that? You just transferred here though. I guess you two really click. Some Sometimes that just happens. We're in the same class also. You seemed a lot closer than that yesterday morning. What? What are you talking about? Like, actually, what are you talking about? We all go to the same school. We have to take the same way to get to the same school, and we're in the same class. Excuse us for talking. I heard she was a victim of Mr. Kamashita. But was that all there was to it? Yes. Either way, closer inspection should clear everything up. Goodbye. Goodbye, Makoto. Ahem. Exams start tomorrow. Are you all ready? Well, shall now we then, begin? picking up from last time, the end of the Hien period marks the rise of the samurai which I'm sure you've all been waiting for. As described in The Tale of the Heiki, it was a time when all that was great would fall from grace. It wasn't unusual for the heroes of yesterday to be struck down as rebels of the present day. By the way, sympathizing with the loser or the weak is called magistrate's patronage. The term came from Minamoto no Yoshitsune's position and it also became a way of referring to him as well. All right, Amamiya-kun. Do you know the answer? You know the time period Yoshitsune was active in, don't you? It was the Hei Hien period, or however you pronounce it. This is it. Correct. That's right. He supported his brother Yorimoto during the Heian period. But despite his contributions in defeating the Terra, he was driven out by his brother and ultimately executed. However, in the centuries that followed, Yoshitsune became more popular as a tragic hero. Wow, really? Amami kun seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. And with that, another point of knowledge. Rather than siding with the one who has overwhelming power, people prefer the underdog opposing them. It's sort of like rooting for a minor league baseball team instead of an all-star major league one. Yep. I can understand that. It's like, if I don't root for them, then who will? What are your thoughts? If you're confident in your exams, you could always liven the day up and head to Mementos. It'd be nice if we can get some info on a target before we went, though. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna go to Mementos unless I absolutely need to at this point. Okay, so we have a couple of options in terms of confidants. Um, so again, this is kind of where we really have more branching options. So for the moment, I really want to focus on getting On's confidant up because um, we've gotten plenty of progress with Fuyuchi, but not a whole lot with On up until now. And I really want to be sure that we're making progress on her responses. So. We're, we're going to focus on her confidant for now. Hey, I came up with a method of strengthening my heart. But it's kind of hard to do it by myself. Will you trade with me? I feel like I've become close with An thanks to the lover's persona, Saki Mitama. I feel that my bond with An will grow stronger soon. So what do you think? Will you spend some time with Lady An? Absolutely. Thanks. We'll be going to Ino Kashira Park. It's really big. Well, let's meet up in Shibuya and head over together. Sweet! We got a new park. Or a new location. Ino Kashira Park. Flourishing with natural beauty, this park is a pride of Kichijoji. A natural respite. Get away from the stress of city life. Couples often ride boats in the pond. All right. You now have information on a new hangout spot. Ino Kashira Park. You can also invite people who may like it there to hang out with you. Man, being open places like this are great. I think my training's going to be super good today. So remember how I said before that I want to strengthen my heart? Well, I came up with a way to do it. How's that? Um. I don't think having a strong heart means you don't let anything get under your skin. I can't read it all. So basically, I want you to say stuff to me and I'll try to not get faced by it. That's your training? <laughs> We've already started. I won't let that hesitation shake me. I guess I should say something to On. Come on, here's your best shot. You're unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... That response was annoying. Uh-huh, uh-huh, what else? Can we stop yet? You're giving up? That means I win! Huh? Wait, is this how the game is supposed to go? Oh well, on to round two! Yes. Bring it on! You're a genius. You know, I kind of feel like this won't make our personas stronger. You finally get it. Hmm. Huh, something's not right. Sorry. I got an email from my agency. The next shoot is really far. Wait, what's this at the end? It's a notice saying to pay extra attention to the time and place they tell you. Apparently, some models haven't been showing up at all lately. Then, when asked why they didn't come, the models all say they heard there was a change in a schedule. It sounds like shoots have been real hectic with all the scrambling they've had to do for substitutes. Has that happened to you? Huh? No, I haven't missed a single shoot so far. This probably really confuses the staff to see a sub showing up, too. Hopefully, it doesn't happen to me. Though, actually, my first modeling gig was at as a sub. Back, that was back when I still live in Finland. Uh, my parents didn't have enough models for their event. Oh, haven't I told you? Um. My parents are both fashion designers who put on some seriously extravagant shows. They jump from country to country, so I only really see them for half the year. Maybe less these days. That freedom sounds nice. Yeah, I guess I can afford to be pretty relaxed these days. Plus, it would be probably be tough being a phantom thief with my parents around, don't you think? It was rough when I was little, though. It was just me and our living caretaker. 
I didn't really have any friends. Wow, that got dark fast. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, when I'm modeling, it almost feels like I'm connected with my parents somehow. It's a nice hobby to have, but I don't think I'd want to make a living out of it. After all, that's where Kamashia's first spotted me. That's how our class started those rumors. Besides, the Phantom Thieves are more important to me right now. Nobody can be my substitute there. Yes! That's why I need to get stronger. I sense a heightened motivation from An. Alright, so we've gotten An to uh, rank up to 3, which means now she has the ability to follow up. Same thing as Ryuji's. When I was little, I used to watch this anime where the main villain was this female thief. She'd lose to the hero every time, but I always thought she was cool. She wasn't really a good person per se, but she was beautiful, strong, sincere, and even sexy. She always said whatever she wanted, did whatever she wanted, she knew what justice was for her. I wanted to grow up to be just like her someday. I hope I'm getting closer now, if only just a little bit. Bye. Well, see you later. Hey, it's me. Thanks for, com for coming along with me today. So, after we met up, I tried doing some runaway walks on the way home. Like how a cool, sexy woman would walk. Then some girl who was watching me nearby started to copy me and runway walked with me. She had to have seen me, right? Do you think she thought it was cool? Could be. It's almost enough to make me blush, kind of. To be honest, I feel kind of bad for her. She has no idea that the real me is a human disaster. Hmm, I guess I still got a long way to go, but I'm not giving up. I made a decision that I'm going to get stronger, so I need to overcome any obstacles. Thanks for hearing me out. Okay, bye! Ah, you're back. Hey! Kind of think of it, that guy who approached you in the beef bowl shop was a politician, right? He apparently gives speeches at Shibuya Station, but can't judge a book by its cover. What do we have here? Uh man. Now we have to decide. This is what I hate about... This is what I hate about the late game stuff, because we're not even the real late game stuff, but this is where you gotta make, like, crucial choices. So we can study with Ryuji, we can go work with Mishima, or we can talk to that politician. Um, so for the immediate moment, I'd rather talk to one of these two because um, the politician will be there literally every single day. There is no um, wrong time to talk to him. Um, I'm not gonna stay with Ryuji because that's just another opportunity to increase knowledge and I don't necessarily need that. So let's take a look at Mishima. I report as your CJ image management representative. I just have a new way to help you out. I really want to tell you about it. Do you have time today? It's maybe a good opportunity to straighten my bond with Mishima. What are your thoughts? You want to meet up with Mishima? Uh, sure. Let's go ahead and uh, go with Mishima. Okay, let's meet up in Shibuya. I'll give you the details in person. Now that you mention it. Oh, I forgot to mention. We we're meeting up with some fangirls today. All of these are supposed to have some special ladies, right? Great idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, steal a girl's heart if you want to be called a phantom thief. Let's do this. Actually, Basically, I met some cool girls on the fan site, and we thought it'd be fun to do an in-person meetup. Oh, that reminds me, they think we're just part of the fandom. I made up this whole story about how we stumbled to the fan site one day, so let's stick to that. Don't spill the beans, okay? We're part of the fandom? That's what users of the fan site call themselves. 
it's really caught on as the forum's gotten more popular. Um. Either way, you should be excited about this. Mingling with your loyal supporters is a noble cause indeed. Plus, remember how I said I'd help publicize the Phantom Thieves? This is just the beginning. <sighs> Though to be honest, I've never actually met someone from online in person. I wonder if I'll be able to do it right. I did lots of research though. I know all about footing the bill and buying desserts for the girl. What? Apparently, if things go well, you might even t t take her home. Hmm? Huh? It's way past our meeting time. Um, hello? It's Mishi. It's the guy you met on the fan site? About our meetup. Huh? You're still at home? And what about your friend? Oh, um, yeah, uh-huh. No, we'll be waiting here. Wait, was that a train announcement? I could swear I just heard someone say Shibuya over a loudspeaker. Are you close by? Huh? Oh, no! I'm not calling you a liar. Y yes. Okay. Yeah. Maybe next time. So, both of them apparently got sick? They're just gonna stay home. <laughs> Seemed like they were really into the idea on the forum. Oh well, my bad. I was so busy with all the new forum posts, I didn't have time to really vet them too much. It's not your fault. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. But all this aside, I have some really good info ready for you guys. I won't let you down. I'll prove just how useful I can be to the Phantom Thieves. Misuma seems extra motivated. Alright, so now with Misuma's enthusiasm, we've gotten more EXP earned from battle. Sweet. Right. It wasn't supposed to turn out like this, though. I bet those girls would never have flaked on me if they knew I'm friends with the real-life Phantom Thieves. <sighs> Being a guardian of justice isn't so easy, huh? You're telling me, buddy. Let's well, let's head home. Oh, Amamiya? Sorry for dragging you out for no reason. People typically use an alias online, so a lot of them don't hold back when they meet when they comment. Hmm. I thought it was going to be a great opportunity to hear their opinions on the Phantom Thieves. It's always better to hear that kind of stuff in person, right? You'll get it right next time. Yep, leave it to me. Next time, we're gonna get some real hot girl. I mean, intel. All right, I'll get back some modding. Trust me, everything's going to turn out awesome. See ya. I can't believe this. A school assembly during exam week? The hell are they thinking? It's the day after tomorrow, right? I wonder if it's going to be about Mr. Kamashita again. Ugh, I can't believe the school is messing with our schedules like this. I don't care what it's about. It's gonna have nothing to do with us students. I wish they'd stop dragging us into their mess. Seems pretty rough. A mentor assembly during exam week, huh? Sounds rough for all of you. Well, shall now, we begin? Now then. Let the first day of exams begin. What historical figure inspired the idiom of favoring the magistrates? It's um, Minamoto Yo Yoshitsune. That sounds about right. Let's see, an essay question? This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. 
provide the reason, reason why Minamoto no Yoshitsune was viewed as a hero. Yoshitsune had a brother, right? Uh, I think his name was... Minamoto Yo no Yorimoto. Yeah, that's the one. Yoshitsune worked under Yorimoto. He did a lot for his brother. But they ended up coming into conflict. And in the end, when they had to oppose each other... Uh, Yorimoto won. Yeah, Yoshitsune committed suicide after being exiled by his brother. But even though he lost, Yoshitsune is the one who went down in history as a hero. That's probably because people tend to sympathize less with figures in power and sympathize more with... the weak. Yeah, not just any weak person though. People love rooting for an underdog who stands out to powerful oppressors, and Yoshitsune did that to his brother. So the reason Yoshitsune is treated as a hero is because he stood up against the powerful Yorimoto. Yep. You finished in time. Ahem. Time is up. Put down your pencils and put your hands under your desks. During exam week, the uh, dates pretty much change straight from one day to another until the whole test is done. Let's get started. Today is the second day of exams. You may begin. Which brain function is responsible for the phenomenon of seeing an illusion in this figure? Cognition. Ooh, we can do this. That sounds about right. Which of the following maps can you paint without any adjacent areas being the same color? Both. Between the map of the world and map of Japan. All right, one more day of tests. Okay, class. Does so everyone have a started. test? Then you may begin. Name the book that defined malfactor as the chief factor in the progress of the human race. The Devil's Dictionary. Ooh, we can that do sounds this. about right. What character archetype refers to a mysterious and seductive woman, typically with ulterior motives? That's femme fatale. Sounds about right. A school-wide assembly at this time of year? Really? Think we can bring our flashcards in? Kamoshida is just one of the many things wrong with the school. I've got to hurry home and study. That Kamoshida is still causing us trouble, even when he's gone. His voice is sexy. Can we seriously not right now? My name is... Huh? My name is Takuto Maruki. Thank you for welcoming me to your school. E expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, our school's made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. Yeah, that's... That's a, probably a little too on the nose there, on. And Dr., uh... Dr. What's-his-name? 
Maruki. Yeah, wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? You really think he'll do us any good? Ryuji! Hey there. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you... How do you know our names? Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Those that had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. To think I'd end up in a castle. A castle? You idiot! Uh, <laughs> oh, looks like this guy didn't get much sleep last night. So, what do you want with us? Ah, uh, yes, I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier, but would you three be interested in counseling? Nope, not at all. Huh? How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah, but if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. All you can eat would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So, how about it? Tell me more of these snacks. Hey, don't fall for that. To be frank, I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. It's in the school's interest, for its students. Ah, the school's interest, huh? I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Ooh, I know! If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Like ways to hone your concentration before exams, or not getting nervous on dates. How's that sound? Uh... Mental training. If I make good use of this, it may aid in our Phantom Thieves activities too. There's also snacks. Dude, he's absolutely selling me with the snacks right now. Alright, enough with the snacks. That is your opinion. Shut up. So, which way are you leaning? I'm gonna do it. <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm, yeah. Really? Then, I guess it's a deal. A deal, you say? Well, good sir, I don't know if you realize what that means around here, but I'm sure we'll find out later. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for taking my counseling into consideration. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. I've made a deal with Maruki. Yep! Really? Seriously? It's hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Give me a name. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. 
It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Counselor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right, we've gotten a new confidant in the form of Takuda Maruki, the Counselor. And with a new confidant, we get to talk about new abilities. And oh boy, there is a lot to talk about. But first of all, I should preface that this specific confidant is exclusive to Persona 5 Royal. If you're playing the regular Persona 5, Dr. Maruki and his confidant are not at all available. That said, it is abundantly clear that they made this confidant for the Royal version because it is incredible. It is 150% worth your time to max out this confidant and we're gonna talk about exactly what it does for you. So right now, uh, with rank one, we don't really get anything, but at rank two, we get Detox X. When Joker's inflicted with a status ailment, he may recover immediately. Uh, there are other abilities like Harrison Recovery where your party members can um, get rid of your status ailments for you, but Detox X will allow you to just do it yourself. This can be extremely useful um, in certain situations, especially if your party members are just not able to help you out. So being able to get rid... Um, yourself uh, healed up from sass ailments, super helpful and saves you items and time. At rank three, you get the ability Flow, which gives Joker a chance to receive the effects of Charge and Concentrate at the start of battle. We haven't really seen Concentrate pop up, but we have seen Charge a couple of times. Basically, Charge and Concentrate being activated at the same time will guarantee that Joker will do double damage with his first attack at the start of whatever fight um, that ability activates. So it's super helpful to get. It's not always guaranteed to happen, but every time it happens, it can be really useful. Especially if it does happen to take place during a boss fight. Though it's not likely to happen. Anyway, at rank 5, you get Mindfulness. This is a super, super helpful ability. This is a chance to restore Joker's SP when it's low. And it's not like some, by some minute number. It will restore like the vast majority of Joker's SP, which is super, super helpful. Switching out party members in the long run and kind of using items on them to restore their SP is one thing, but Joker always has to be active in the party, which means his SP normally gets end up getting depleted in the long run early. But with mindfulness, that all goes away because he could just keep on fighting basically infinitely with mindfulness, and it's great. At rank seven, you get Flow Boost, which basically just increases the odds of the rank 3 ability Flow succeeding. There's not much to it aside from that, but hey, being more likely to use Flow, always a good thing. And then at rank 9, you get Detox DX, which increases the chance of Detox X succeeding. So you get the ability to get rid of all your status ailments, to increase your SP all but to its maximum at just any given time, and the ability to double the damage that you do at the very start of a fight, all for just increasing your counselor rank. Plus, I do believe also you get an SP boost every time you interact with um, Maruki for a confidant change. So it's 150% worth your time to increase the rank with Maruki. So I highly recommend you do that. I cannot stress enough that you need to be doing this one. All right. And of course, fusing personas to the Council Arcana will grant you EXP due to the Arcana Burst. So hold up, dude. Sorry for keeping you like this. Well then. Okay, quiet down. All right, settle down. I have an addendum to the earlier assembly regarding the counseling you've all been offered. The counselor will be available to you starting after school today in the nurse's office. Dr. Maruki will only be posted here through November, so be sure to speak with him soon if you feel the need. For the majority of you, it's your choice whether or not you see him, but 
There are a few students I'll speak with later. The school is decided. Visit to Nanomata Key will be mandatory for these individuals. So, you guys gonna go for it? What, the counseling? It kinda sounds like we're being forced to. I told Madaki I'd do it, but I don't know if I'm really into the idea, you know? Let's do it. Yeah. Probably better not to draw more attention to ourselves anyway. I think I'm gonna try going today. Hmm. Counseling, eh? Lady Ann's right. Make sure you visit him so you don't draw any attention to yourself, okay? Yes. <sighs> um. Welcome. Are you here for a counseling session? Yeah. Is now a bad time? <laughs> not at all. It's always a good time, so long as I'm not already listening to a student. I'm so glad you're here. Would you care for a snack? Begin? Oh, but first, just relax, alright? I'm only here to listen to whatever you wish to talk about. Yes. Sure. Although, I really only have one thing on my mind right now, anyway. Hmm. Yes, I'd say that makes perfect sense. But don't force yourself into talking with me. You could even just grab some snacks and be on your way if you wanted. <laughs> no, it's... It's alright. I know I need to talk to someone about this anyway. That is, if you're willing to listen to the super long story. I absolutely am. Take all the time that you need. <sighs> I see. That's such a horrible thing to do to someone. <sighs> yes. That's why I wanted to get even with him, for Shiho. Mm-hmm. And? <sighs> At first, I thought Kamoshida ought to face the same fate as Shio was going to put herself through. But... But? Later, I realized that wasn't right. If he did take his own life, it wouldn't undo Shiho's suffering. In fact, it'd just give them the easy way out. Right. Is that so? You know, you're quite the wise, level-headed young woman, Takamaki-san. Huh? Uh, I think you've got the wrong... Nope. In fact, I think you're wiser than I was at your age. I wasn't anywhere near as mature as you are now. It's not like I did anything special, though. If I hadn't gone through my own share of I don't think I'd be so mature, either. I see. So what's on your mind now? Hmm, right now? Let me think. Hmm. I'm just hoping Shiho will get better quickly. We both suffered a lot, but I just want to get back to laughing and having fun together like we used to. At this point, I don't give a rat's ass about Kamoshida. Yeah. Now there's a healthy outlook. You can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it'd definitely be better if none of this had happened at all, but... Quite. <laughs> I definitely agree with you there. But it's impossible to wipe every tragedy from history. Yeah. If only, right? Everyone would be so much happier if we could actually do that. Oh. It seems I lost track of the time. We should wrap things up here for today. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Oh no, thank you. I feel a ton better now that that's all off my chest. Be careful, okay? Heh, <laughs> good to hear it. You deserve it. Feel free to stop by again anytime. Okay, I'm gonna Will get do. going. Will do. See you around. Well, I went in for counseling. You're going soon too, right, Ren? How'd it go? 
Hmm, well, it honestly wasn't as rough as I was expecting. I think you should just go and give it a shot. Dr. Maruki's easier to talk to than you think. Okay, see you tomorrow. Didn't you have a counseling appointment? That's in the nurse's office in the practice building, right? I'll just pass time in the area until you're done. This one's super special. It's not even anywhere on the forum yet. Anyway, do you remember what that bully, Daisuke Takanashi, whose heart you changed earlier? Well, turns out there was someone pulling the strings the whole time. It seems like Takanashi didn't have a choice but to listen to what this guy told him to do. But ordering someone to bully other people is a pretty thing to do, isn't it? That's horrible. Right. It's totally unacceptable. This person has to be somewhere in our school, right? We should go take a look around. In the meantime, I'll secretly do a little more research, too. If you want to go after this target, we'll need a name. Let's go investigate the school. How are you? Ah, uh, hello. Are you here for a session as well? You too, huh? Yes. That's right. Dr. Maruki is a wonderful counselor. I've actually been seeing him for a while before he ever came to Shujin. Uh -huh. Oh? I didn't know you two were acquainted. Don't go over selling me too hard, though, Yoshizawa-san. I'm really nothing special. <laughs> well, I need to get going. Please excuse me. Alright then. Let's see if we get started. Thank you for coming. Well, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be so tense. We're just going to have an ordinary conversation, that's all. I see. I see. Mm hmm, thank you. You have gotten a good grasp of the situation here, Anna Mamiya kun. Well, Full disclosure, the school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer here. So much for my privacy. I'm glad you've got a sense of humor about it, but yes, it's not exactly kind to you. I'm sorry. So... Now that you've told me more about yourself, I think I've realized something. Seems like you've largely been able to reconcile your internal world with your external one. I should note, that's really, truly impressive. Even most adults can't reliably manage that. How to put it? You know how everyone has an internal reality? Some conception of themselves they're striving for? For example... Like, wanting to be a model student or wanting to be loved and rely on. That kind of thing. But that idealized reality and the one in actuality are often far apart. That gap is responsible for a lot of people's pain. Not everyone can ace their exams, and not everyone can be the heroes they wish to they could be. Hmm. You've already been through so much. That kind of suffering is usually enough to twist people up into dark places. But you, you're standing up to it and confronting a tough, painful reality. To me, that's incredibly admirable. Then again, Maybe it's a little weird for you to hear from a guy you just met, huh? Ah, but it sounds right. <laughs> Not even any deflecting self-deprecation. You really are strong, Amami Akun. I'm sorry. Well, let's see. Sorry this went on longer than I expected. Somehow, the conversation just took on a life of its own, I guess. Uh, say. Actually, I've got one last request. Do you mind? You know, I... I'm actually doing certain research along with my duties as a counselor. It's not quite counseling, more like a type of psychological treatment. Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts. What they think, how they feel... How about it? If I get far enough with it, I think it'll be able to help a lot of people. So... So... what? Uh, sorry. 
I, I guess my point is, I'd like to ask you to help with that research. All you have to do is listen to my theories and then tell me if they spark any ideas or realizations on your end. Please, any time's good for me. I can work around your schedule. And uh, I've got a lot of snacks too. You can have them. They're yours. Dude, you've got yourself a deal. Well, okay. Really? Yes, you're a lifesaver. Well, let's see. I know. Maybe I can teach you some tips for mental training. I happen to know a lot on the subject. I'm sure I can cup up a special regimen for you. If you're dedicated enough, I'm sure you could draw out your full potential. Thank you. Okay. I guess that's our second deal. I feel my bond with Maruki is growing deeper. Imagine if it fast forward twice because it's he said deal again. He established that there was a second deal. Anyway, we've gotten the Counselor Arcana to rank 2, which means now we have Detox X. Amazing. Getting it this early is super nice. Not that you can't get it earlier, but still. All right. I know. Oh, right. Would it be okay if we traded content information? I'll contact you when I've got time or when I need some input from you. That should do it. Now. Now, I better do my part to repay you. Let's talk about mental training and presence. Let's see. First off, they need some Madoki's mental training. My mind feels stronger. All right. As I mentioned earlier, every time you interact with Madoki uh, to work on your confidants, your max SP will increase by five, which is super, super nice. Oh, and here. Never a bad time for a snack, right? Dude, this man's actually given me practical stat snacks. I got non-static gum. Well, see you. Thank you for your help today. I'll see you around at school. Man. You really spent a long time talking to Madoki. Look how late it is. Well, if you think the sessions are worthwhile, you should try going again sometime. Good night. But we should definitely get some sleep for now. Tomorrow's your last day of exams, right? Yeah, and I think we're going to go ahead and stop here. This episode's been plenty long. So, for the most part, this episode was just uh, taking the exams and meeting uh, Dr. Maruki, who we will be getting to know better over the course of the game. Um, I do want to stress that um, with... A lot of confidants, it's not necessarily required to complete them, but I cannot stress enough, you absolutely want to be sure to complete Maruki's confidant, because it is 150% worth your time to do. So next time on Persona 5 Royal, uh, we'll be taking care of the last day of exams, probably, and uh, then we will see what comes up for us next. See you guys then.